Well, there's a ton of strategies you can use to get your health back on track. Now, one simple and easy way is just by doing good. Author and philanthropist Laura McKnight is here to explain. Now, first off, thank you for joining us. Sure. And thank how you. does the way you take care of others help or hurt your own health? It's kind of surprising, isn't it? Yeah. You think, well, that seems like a disconnect. So there's some research that shows that when people can reflect on the good that they're doing, so whether that's giving to charity or volunteering or serving or mm -hmm. cleaning stuff out of their closet, 92% feel better about themselves and it has health benefits both physically and mentally. Really? So just going yes. to help someone, let's say you, you mm -hmm. help your neighbor out down the street, you mow his grass because he's got a broken leg or something. Right. And then by reflecting on what yes. you just did, it makes you feel better? Yes, it does. And especially it's interesting you mentioned that helping the neighbor because any kind of volunteering, mm -hmm. there are other studies that show that even just 100 hours of volunteering every year can dramatically lower your blood pressure. Really? So that this is called, in the science, it's called pro-social behavior, which means you're doing things for other people, but it's easier to just think of it as doing good. So just being a good person and, and, and going out and doing <laughs> things is healthy for you. It's Who would have thought healthy. it, huh? I know. Well, it's great <laughs> because we're living in this social impact culture right. today where everybody yeah. wants to do good and everything has changed. and Work life and community and wellness are all blurred together, so it's really nice to know that even as we're living in this culture today, it's mm -hmm. good for us. Okay. Well, so other, another part of the thing of doing good, a lot of us take uh, part of this on a weekly basis, recycling. Yes. How does recycling improve our health? Yes. Well, you think about what you're doing when you are putting things, um, reusing things, and, and helping the environment. So mm -hmm. there are benefits directly to you, but there are also holistic benefits. So anytime that you are buying organic or you are planting your own vegetables or whatever, that's obviously healthy. Sure. Um, but the bigger picture is, um, the, especially when you think about how you do good, 88% of us want to do good and feel better about when we're doing good, including recycling, in our lives. So that just goes hand in hand with that research that shows when you reflect on your good, um, it actually does make you healthier. Only 88% of us want to do good? I'd hope we need to work <laughs> well, on, in, on increasing that percentage. I'd well, hope most a, of us want to do good, that's right? A pretty tough, that's a pretty <laughs> tough study So it, because people had to meet 10 requirements. So oh, okay. 10 requirements of pro-social behavior. So you had to enjoy you know, a lot of different activities. So that's actually very high. Yeah. That's the vast majority of people this well, will really work for. Well, that's, that's good to hear. It makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, are there any, any other doing good tips for getting more sleep? And I, I don't want to talk about sleep because I get way too little anyway. Um, but what, how, yeah. can, how can we help get more sleep? Well, that, goes, that is also part of doing good because um, there are so many great studies today. But one study shows that uh, when you're grateful, grateful people who, who tend to do things for other people and are grateful for what they have, they sleep 10% longer every night. Really? If you're grateful and you're doing good. So, yeah, so it's really interesting how this whole social impact culture mentality in our lives today is impacting our wellness. Um, so maybe they're, at every level. They're more calm, more relaxed. Uh -huh. They reflect more on the good that they do. So it yes. gives them a, a, better, a, a better night's sleep. Exactly. So, and also working, working for a, a good company helps. Working for a good company helps. Okay. If you are um, an employee anywhere, really, you want to work for a company that you know shares your values about doing good. And you're going to be much more likely to be engaged, almost 90% more likely to be engaged. And, and that gets good for the company, too. Yeah. Because they gotta... they'll keep you, and you won't be leaving to find another job. That's right. So, yeah, so it all comes full circle with our, with our work and our lives and our community and our wellness. It's, it's kind of all one thing today. All right. Well, it's always good to work for a good company like KCTV5. Indeed. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Laura, thank you for those tips. We appreciate you oh, being sure, here today. Oh, sure, of course.